At the very border between Spain and France, the Pyrenees Mountains stretch up. Here, hunting season in April and May, and later on in November and December, offers the high mountainous hunters a challenge worth trying. Hunting the Pyrenean chamois during the winter months could prove quite difficult due to the rapid weather changes up in the mountain. Nevertheless, if the hunter is a lucky one and weather is favorable, hunting could take only a couple of hours. Thanks to the licensing regime and regulated trophy hunting here, the population of Pyrenean chamois is so large that it could take the hunter and his hunting guide a lot of time to define the largest and oldest animal among the tens of chamois moving along the rocky slopes. Uh, yeah, look at where we are. We're on top of the world. <laughs> In Spain, there are many more game species that attract hunters from all over the world. But no doubt the most interesting and dynamic is the ibex hunting. Spain territory hosts four types of the arch-torn animals. These are Becaite ibex, Gritos ibex, Sierra Nevada ibex, and Ronda ibex. Since they share relatively close external features, these ibexes vary in size and bend of their horns. The best time for hunting them down is the end of the mating season. If the hunter is a good shooter and luck is on his side, it is even possible to achieve successful hunting of the whole Spanish Grand Slam Ibex for four hunting days. Hunting down the four Ibex types in Spain requires long marches by car between the habitats of each of these species. Let us start from Gritos Ibex. At two hours travel by car from Madrid in the Gritos Mountains, we would find the localized second largest Ibex population. Amidst the inaccessible canyons and mountainous precipices, the animals feel very well and their population is exceptionally high. Trophy animals aged 10 to 12 could be easily stalked amidst the grazing lands in the foot of the rocky peaks. Animals are relatively calm due to the fact that hunters are provided with a few licenses annually and they are much lower than the number of the increase of these animals. That is why here we could see numerous ibex herds. The male meat during the rut season is not suitable to eat because of its strong smell. But the protected species such as vultures, for example, greatly depend on hunter's success to eat. Our second goal is the Sierra Nevada ibex or southeastern ibex. It is smaller and lighter than the rest because of the semi-desert terrain it inhabits. This territory hosted numerous Hollywood productions that represent the events in the Wild West for example, the famous westerns The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Holy Trinity, and even the third part of Indiana Jones, and the unforgettable classics The Prince of Arabia. The third ibex of the Spanish Grand Slam is the Ronda ibex. At around four-hour travel from Madrid, it inhabits the most inaccessible and steep slopes of the Ronda Mountains in the province of Malaga. Its horns are V-shaped and they are arched backwards and quite resemble the horns of the alpine ibex. This is the smallest of all Spanish ibexes. As you can imagine, this is related to the fact that it lives and moves along very steep terrains. Three days. Three uh, ibex now and... Uh, the last, fourth type is the Becaide ibex. This is the largest one among the ibexes in Spain, with the largest horns. It adapted itself to living in abundance along the not very high but fruitful mountain ranges between the Castellan Teruel and Tarragona provinces. Herds love walking along the arable terraces that were abandoned centuries ago. The Becaide mountains are a quite versatile and attractive hunting terrain. Ibex's population here is much greater than the hunting licenses and the availability of 15 to 16 year old trophy animals prove this. Okay. The hunting safari in Spain could bring the frenetic hunters and adventurers not only extraordinary trophy achievements but an unforgettable experience when getting in touch with the Spanish culture and art. There are many more great destinations and unique places that we didn't have the chance to show you. Actually, you saw a tiny bit of the opportunities to be discovered by everyone. We hope we helped you make your first step in traveling along distant lands amidst unknown people in order to get to know our limitless and admirable blue planet. <laughs>